the Battle of Plochnik was fought sometime between 1385 and 1387 near the village of Plochnik, near Prokuplia in today's southeastern Serbia, between the Serbian forces of Prince Lazar Rebel Janovic and the invading Ottoman Turks of Sultan Murad I. Prelude Battle of Plochnik was the second clash between the Ottomans and forces commanded by Lazar, the first being the 1381 Battle of Dubrovnica, and this battle would precede the ultimate Battle of Kosovo in 1389. After Battle of Dubrovnica, Sultan Murad I campaigned against the Karamanids and defeated its army near Konya. Serbian soldiers accompanied the Ottoman army. On the other hand some of the soldiers were executed because of looting civilians' property by disobeying the Sultan's order. The execution of these Serbian soldiers aroused the hatred of the Serbs. Many Serb princes started to support Lazar rebel Janovic against the Ottomans. At that time, one prince in Shkoda wrote a letter to the Sultan. In the letter this prince wrote that if the Ottomans sent some troops to Bosnia and Albania to protect him, he would recognize the sovereignty of the Ottomans and aid them. Murad I ordered one Akanji commander, Sahin Bey, to prepare his troops. Battle. The Serbian army emerged victorious, although details of the actual battle are vague. Sahin Bey entered Serbia with 20.000 Akinjis at that time he learned that Serbian princes had prepared an army to attack his troops. He advanced to Plochnik, near Prokuplia, but he could not detect the position of that army. He believed that there was no army. At that time, many Akinjis lost their temper and began looting civilian properties in the surrounding villages by disobeying orders. Sahin Bey stayed alone with 2,000 soldiers. On the other hand, the battlefield was observed by Serbian expeditionary forces. Suddenly an allied army with 30.000 soldiers appeared, many of them were cavalry. The Serbian army used heavy night cavalry charge with horse archers on the flanks. The Serbs first attacked the Ottoman center, although they were unprepared and tasted nasty shock to heavy Serbian knights. The outnumbered Ottoman center resisted for some time but later began to withdraw with Sahin Bey who barely escaped with his life. Then the Serbian army turned to the other 18.000 Akinjas that were busy plundering, unprepared, ill-disciplined. Surprised Akinjas couldn't do anything without the general. Only 5.000 of them returned home alive. More than 60% of the Ottoman army was destroyed. According to some sources Milo Zabilic participated in this battle on Serbian side and distinguished himself. This sources explain that Abilic, who later became a hero in Serbian folklore because of his role in the Battle of Kosovo, was wounded by an Ottoman arrow in the battle. According to some sources Gjon Kastriota and troops sent by Tvrtkoi of Bosnia also participated in this battle. Some sources even attribute Serb victory to him claiming that Ottomans were defeated because of his clever maneuver made in cooperation with troops. From Bosnia, Vjekoslav Klaik also emphasized importance of troops from Bosnia for Serbian victory. Aftermath This victory gained gave prestige to the Serbs and their rulers. It was this battle that made Murad consider the possibility of abandoning his Balkan campaign. However he decided to make one more powerful thrust aimed at the heart of the now seemingly revitalized Serbian Empire Kosovo. The Serbian victory temporarily slowed the Ottoman invasion of the Balkans, and set the stage for the Battle of Kosovo between the two armies in 1389. According to the Ottoman historian Nezri this battle was not even fought because Prince Lazar was afraid to fight Ottoman army after Murad captured Nis. So he accepted to pay tribute and give 1,000 soldiers to serve the Sultan. The Ottoman army was seriously defeated for the first time on the Balkans. The Ottoman advance into Europe was temporarily slowed. Annotations. Carrot dating. Sima Surkovic. 1385 Mitjav Velikunya. 1386 Kamal Namik. Arthur Evans. Better source needed. H. J. Kissling. 1387.